So today I'm gonna to show you how to get paid from your own business as an S Corp. Now, this is actually a little different than if you are just a regular LLC where you can just essentially be transferring your money over and you're totally fine. As there is some kind of similarities between the two, there is some important factors when it comes to filing as an S Corp. Now, this is not gonna be a way to do it for most people, so make sure you talk to your tax accountant on if it's a good idea to switch over. Generally, there's a good number that you wanna be hitting every year when it comes to your income to be able to be filing as an S Corp, but if you got to this point, the really important thing is you gotta realize you have to essentially be an employee of your own company, which means you have to run payroll for yourself. Now, that sounds maybe a little weird because you're like, well, it's my money, I could just pull it, but the way this is gonna work is a little different. So what I'm gonna do is actually take you onto the computer here, and we're gonna be using a payroll service called Gusto. Now, I've actually talked about Gusto a ton on my YouTube channel here on the business turn because I actually love this service. I use it for my wife's business. I even use it for my personal business because I actually need it to be able to run my payroll as an S Corp. So this is actually gonna be a software that I'll have linked down below. You can check them out. You actually get a nice bonus for using my link and it does help support out my channel as you get more free content like this. And I'll have some extra content linked up at the end for you if you wanna keep learning more about this particular software in more detail. Now, the really nice thing is too, um, as we keep going through here, if you like what we're like doing here and like learning more about business, make sure you hit that subscribe. It is important for us to keep growing and learning um, to be able to keep on growing with our businesses. So this is Gusto. And um, let me see if I can actually zoom out a little bit here. Okay, um, I had to like switch the little settings here so you can kind of see the left side here. So uh, Gusto is essentially a payroll service that uh, people can use. A lot of small businesses use it. Like I said, I have it for two businesses. And this will actually allow us to go ahead and get paid out from our own small businesses. So um, what I ended up doing was creating the account as my True Financials, which is uh, my other main YouTube channel here on YouTube. And so what I did was I created that account and then I hired myself under the business so that way I can go ahead and pay myself payroll. So what I'm gonna do is click on people right over here. And then you're gonna see the option for team members. So I'm gonna click here. Now in this spot over here, I put a little calculator here to block my phone number, but uh, this is where you can see all your team members. You can see I'm the only employee in my company, um, but this is me working for the company as an owner and I get paid an X amount of money every single year to be able to run the business. Now, as an S Corp, you can kind of choose where that level is. Obviously, the more you're making, the more salary you should have because you do need to pay those taxes as well. So what I'm gonna do is actually click on my name here so you can see a little bit of the back end and how that looks a little bit on that side. So we're over here on the information page. So you can see over here under compensation, uh, we actually had it for $36,000 a year, uh, but because of the increase in income over the last year, uh, my tax accountant actually recommended that we jump it up to $55,000 a year, so that way we can make sure we cover all of our tracks for paying federal and even state income tax. And if you keep scrolling down here, you can see like the deposit methods, Right over here, you can see the federal taxes. Um, you could file obviously as married, if you have multiple jobs, any dependents, um, if you need any extra withholdings, um, your tax accountant might ask you to withhold a little bit more as precaution so that way you hit certain marks. And then same thing with Arizona taxes. I actually like to put a little bit more so that way I can kind of get my bases covered and not have to owe so much towards the end of the year. So what I'm gonna do now is actually take you over to how running payroll would actually look like for somebody like myself. Now, before we continue on, if you're getting some value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button, but also the subscribe button so you can keep on learning ways to manage your personal finance. Okay, so we're back here on the main page and what we're gonna be able to do is go ahead and run payroll. So there's an option on the left side of the screen right over here. We're gonna click on that and you can see right here, it says run payroll. So once we click on here, it's going to take us to this option right over here where it's going to give us a few different things. Now, I generally just have it because I'm not paying myself on a weekly basis through this. I actually still just pull my money out of my business account, just like I would as a regular LLC. I just have it transferred. So this is kind of just like a formality to show them that I am paying the taxes on what I'm expecting to essentially pull out and or what I have left over. So here you can see, see that the regular payroll is essentially the whole year. Um, you can even pay yourself on a two week basis or a weekly basis, however you want to as well, and actually have that money pulled from your business account into your personal. I just prefer to just pull it whenever I need it and then run the payroll to just pay the taxes, um, usually on a quarterly basis. So what I'll do is I'll do run off uh, cycle payroll, and then I'll usually just go ahead and do like the whole quarter. So if I do like January 1st through uh, let's say March 31st, so that's the first quarter, pay myself, doesn't really matter the date at that point for the most part, as long as it's uh, within a good time frame. And then um, right here, it's gonna ask if you want deductions and contributions. I obviously would recommend if you're trying to pay your taxes properly. 
Um, and then down here, you're gonna see uh, where you can enter in your payment. So if you click on here, because I'm doing an off uh, schedule, it's not gonna automatically put in my numbers, but you can see the 55,000 a year is the uh, amount that we're saying. So if I went ahead and run it, run it this way, so 55,000 divided by four, that's 13,750 that I would put in my uh, gross right over here. So 13,750. So that's my uh, gross pay. So that's before uh, you know taxes and everything. If you want to do net earnings, you can do that too. Um, so we're gonna click on save and continue. Oh, I gotta put that on the tenth. Okay, I forgot to switch that. So I just realized while recording, um, you can't actually see one of the parts right over here. But the nice thing is I'll just kind of switch out my screen here, so you can see. So I put in the uh, gross earnings, the thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. Um, this right here says pay by direct deposit. I'm actually switching it to check because again, I'm not actually sending myself this money. I already pulled that money over the last couple of weeks or however much time frame that is. Um, so I'm just putting it in check and then I'm gonna hit save and continue. It's gonna ask us for time off. Uh, obviously I don't really have any of that kind of stuff. So I hit save and continue and it's gonna go right over here to the next step where it's gonna show me uh, total payroll, which was as if I'm sending that check over to myself, uh, the amount that's being debted and then when it's gonna get pulled and then uh, the actual pay date essentially for that person. So this is how it kind of breaks down here for us. So if I uh, bring this out here, you're gonna see how much I have to pay uh, myself in uh, taxes by the employee, which is me. Um, you can see the federal, social security, Medicare, uh, Arizona taxes, obviously if your state doesn't have uh, income tax. Uh, and then you can see the total here. And then the fun part that most people don't even know is that when you pay employees, you actually have to uh, pay as a company to uh, their actual social security and Medicare. Now, the really nice thing is this for myself is I'm essentially putting this money in for me for social security down the road. So it's still benefiting me. It's just obviously money that the company has to pay into to be able to do that. And that also includes if you have multiple employees. Uh, they also have the Arizona withholdings uh, or sorry, unemployment tax. And then the uh, F-U-T-A as well too. So you can see the total down there as well. And then how much all of it's gonna come out together, which is $4,403.26. And I'm doing this typically on a quarterly basis so I can kind of estimate you know, how much my taxes are gonna be. Obviously, if you know taxes change up or down, that's gonna you know make a little bit of an impact, but nothing too crazy. So it's easy for me to be able to see how much I'm gonna have to go through and pay. And once that's all done, I can just hit submit payroll and then that's gonna go through for me. And again, I usually do this on a quarterly basis to kind of keep track of how much I'm gonna owe. And then uh, tax time for S-Corps is actually, I believe March 15th. So you do have to get things done a little bit earlier and make sure that you can you know, pay for everything. The nice thing is uh, if you owe anything as a, you know, as an S-Corp, usually you don't have to do that until March or until April 15th. So you're gonna have a little bit of time to be able to pay that difference um, if it comes due, if you didn't pay enough into the system based off the income that you're gonna be making as well too. Now for me, when I was going through this whole process, it felt very cumbersome and very difficult to figure out all at once. So I'm hoping that taking you through this step-by-step -step can actually help you out in that process. Like I mentioned, I highly recommend Gusto. I think it's honestly one of the best. I'll have them linked down below. Plus, if you wanna learn more about Gusto, I'm gonna have that video right over here so you can keep on learning and growing with using this service and running your small business. My name is Dennis and I'll see you in that next video.